And you know what happened again? And I know a few people are going to laugh at me. Bill, I know you're one of them. Because I was talking before, and I was so into the crusade, I lost track of my timer. I go with, like, 10-minute video, so I got cut off. I apologize. I'm ready for your comments, Bill. Go for it. I'm open game. As I was saying before I was cut off, um, these here are all of the, um, well, not all. There's even more. But these are some of the treasure chest cards here. So, and I'm glad it's kind of like not clear because I want to, you know, I don't want to give you guys any spoilers. So they've got the treasure chest cards printed out. And I just, I was always looking at this, like this code here. Do you see those numbers? Well, I know 5789, that, that's millimeters. That's, that's these cards size. Um, some backers were asking me about um, sleeves. So there you go. That It's 57 millimeters by 89. And I'm not sure what 1225V1 is. Maybe version 1. And then there's some writing down here. So I don't know. But anyway, there's that there. And then we're going to move on to... Um, oh, this is just another look, I think. Yeah, this is just another look at some more of those cards. Um, there's some of the trap cards, which you're probably going to get a little taste of right here. These are some of the traps that... Um, I created and of course Dean Spencer painted those um, these are more of the treasure chest cards here so now we're gonna move on to this is this is uh, this is when I was saying it was very clear and um, very vibrant and very bright this is part of the village board and we're gonna be looking at that but you could see already even you know this photo he just I think he just took it with his phone but already this looks really good it looks the, the colors look so lush and so vibrant and of course the, the village board is going to be like you know like a um, board game material it's called the it's like a GSM I think 400 it's called the technical term for it or gray core but you can see it, it that's what I was very concerned with for us but the brightness and just how vibrant the colors are it's looking really good um, this is part, this really shows off how colorful it is this is the um, dungeon UI board and what we're looking at here this is the combat chart right here where you're going to use your um, warfare tokens um, for when you're battling monsters you know you flip your tokens over and then you reveal you know what's what warfare um, types come up in what phase very fun part of the game the combat in this game I must say it's always changing and you'll never know you know what's gonna come up in the phases um, so that's what that's the combat chart from that this is the teleport track right here hope you don't mind me going over this I thought you know get you more acclimated to the game um, when the heroes complete a quest table like say they're say we're playing and, and they complete quest table one you know all of the little quest tokens if you caught this you know you would flip over to the cleared side which is a closed book um, and then the heroes within three turns are going to teleport back to the village for celebration day so um, it's kind of like a countdown you know three two one and then they teleport so that's what that track is the incantation track here this deals with if you ever evade out of a chamber from a champion monster and you don't fight it depending on what level that champion monster is you're gonna put um, the red marker tokens on this track so for example let's say that we were playing and we were fighting a level 2 skeleton warrior and it was an elite version and we only had two heroes well we're getting beat and we're gonna evade out of that chamber well that's good we can evade out we're gonna take damage if we don't pass the evade check but what happens is that monster will start an incantation so it's real real simple if we look the, the monster is a level 2 right so we would put a marker here and a marker here because it's level 2 you'd put two tokens if the incantation track is ever fulfilled you know the monsters will always keep adding to this incantation track as long as you keep evading out of a chamber um, a hex is placed over a village and I'm telling you, you don't want a hex placed over the village. You want to try to kill the champion monsters um, in the, like whoever you're, you know, whatever you're battling. You don't want this track to fill up. 
So just like if you fight a level four and you evade out, you're going to have to put four tokens on this track. So, I mean, just there's tons of things that happen if there's a hex over the village. The minion population will go up. Um, the chair track, of course, will go up. And just a lot of other nasty stuff. I will save that for you. So that's what that is. And then this track here is the Guardian Spawn track. And the nice thing is this can be set. It, it goes with the scenario difficulty. Okay, so uh, if you want a, a real easy game, <coughs> excuse me, you would set this at 20, even though you can't see it. Well, it's right there. You would set that at 20. So during the Guardian phase of a turn, you just simply roll a D20. So say um, a 20 would come up and, and your token was on 20, a Guardian would spawn into the dungeon. So on a game, you could set it anywhere from 20 all the way down to 11. So that's what that is. And then you can't see all of it, but right here is the raid difficulty. See right here? And so there's six different difficulties for when um, a minion monster, a vagrant minion monster, could convert into a raiding minion. Which, of course, a raiding minion is going to head out of the dungeon, raid the village, thus raising the terror track up. So there's a little bit of that. Um, here's a look at a hero card. This is Ly Lyrena Nightweave. Um... Justin, if you're listening, he, he had to create a hero for this. She's our battle mage. But this is what I mean right here. If, and, and honest to God, guys, do you see this hero cards? Um, oh, heroes can level up to level three. On the back of the level one hero card, you'll find the hero's origin story and the backer that wrote that and you know and their special abilities and that so on the back of level one you'll see that and then level two and level three cards have um you know they're just back to back level two is a one side level three but do you see how that card looks that just looks like game you know game factory awesome like you can just tell that looks it has that look to it so again to the engineers at wingo you're doing an amazing job um, last, no, actually, there's a few more. Look at that. Um, these are the battle boards, or this is one of the battle boards for the Avalon Adventure board game. So that's what that is. Double sided. It won't be like this. There'll be on one side is an outdoor area, other side is a dungeon area. And we can see it more like right here. And these are just a huge sheet of all of the hero cards. And that, and they got those codes down here again, version one. Oh, those are the sizes right there for the hero cards, 12 pieces. Um, so there's that. And then lastly, here's a look at your village board and the dungeon UI board. So again, this Ray took this and he must have been pulled back. But I, I will assure you, this is going to be very, very, very clear and um, vibrant. So that's the village board and that's the dungeon UI board. Both boards will be the same exact size. So no worries there. So guys, I don't want to get cut off again. There you go. There is the proof copy of Dungeon Crusade. And I believe, I'm going to have to ask Ray this, but I think they're done with the base game and they're on the add-ons and the Crusader of the Realm and the Master of the Realm edition. They're working on that this coming week. So guys, I don't want to get cut off. Love you guys. Thank you. This thing is, the proof copy is almost done. Um, I'm going to be back in another week or maybe less when I get more stuff to show you and I have even more exciting announcements to talk to you about. So I hope you guys have a great week and um, thank you for your time and your interest. It means a lot to me. We are all very grateful. All right, guys, have a good evening or a good day and I'll be talking to you soon. Bye-bye.